This is problem number two from section 6.1. This problem, they want us to use the figure uh, to the right to determine the radian measure of angle theta, then approximate the degrees, the degree measure of theta. Uh, and they're talking about a, a radian, so it says into radians, theta equals blank. Well, first of all, does anybody even know what a radian is? Um, I want to break this down as easy as possible, so let's talk about what a radian is. Let's draw a circle. Let's say the circle has a radius of five. We'll call it five inches. A radian is just simply if I took a radius, if I took the radius of the circle, and I started to imagine this being a string, and I started to take the string and move it along the outside of the circle. If I took five inches and moved along the outside of the circle, that would take me to maybe right here. So this is a five inch mark. I go another five inches, that takes me to about right there. So there's another five inch mark. I do another five inches, it takes me to about right there. That's another five inch mark. Each of these is called a radian. So that's one radian, two radians, three radians. Well, what's 180 degrees? Well, 180 degrees is actually one, two, three. This little space right there is not a full radian, obviously. That is 0.14159 radians. So one radian, two radian, three radians, 0.14159. What's that number? Three point, we know 3.14159 is pi. So it takes 3.14159 uh, radians to get to 180 degrees. So we call this spot pi radians. And all the radians means, all radians means is that uh, it's a radius around the outside of the circle. So let's, let's say that. Radians means the number of radiuses around the circle. If I spelled this wrong, the radius is, pardon me. So, one, two, three, point one four takes you to right there. 6.28 radiuses take you to this, uh, 360 degrees. That's actually two pi radians, because it's double pi, right? One pi, then two pi. This is, it doesn't matter what the radius is. The radius can be any number. This is always the case. It's always pi radians to here and then two pi radians to there. So pi radiuses, two pi radiuses to there. So let's get back to this problem. We know that there is a formula that will give us the arc length. All right, so arc length formula. The arc length formula is S equals R theta, S equals arc length, R equals radius length, and theta is the angle in radians. That's key, angle in radians. Don't use degrees on this. They give you a radius, which is 4. So we know R equals 4. And they give you the arc length. They say from right here to right here, that's 6. Oop, I better slide that over. So R is 4. Radius is 4. Arc length is 6. So we can say that S equals 6. Let's plug that in. Uh, 6 equals 4 theta. They want us to find theta in radians. So we divide by 4 and we get theta equals 6 over 4. 6 over 4 gives you a 1.5. So our answer here is 1.5 radians. We better label that radians.